Hello there, and uh, this is John and Jock Maluth. And uh, this moment, I would like us to talk about uh, self-discovery. What do we mean by self-discovery? Well, self-discovery is not self-improvement because we need to discover who we are before we improve ourselves. Self-discovery is not even career discovery because a career is what you have or what you are able to do. Um, there are three things like abilities, possessions, identity. All this may identify me, but when we talk of self-discovery, mostly we focus on our identity. I mean, what is it that identifies you among the crowd or in the crowd of people? What makes you different? What makes you the only you? Okay, so my title is not me. It's what I do. I like how Dr. Nell, Nell T. Anderson puts it. He says, you may call me Nell Anderson. And then he said, that is my name. That's not me. And you may call him Pastor Nell. But he said, that is what he, he does. That's not him. That means what we do can be our career, can be our gift, can be our talent. But before we do what we do, who are we? I think that's a question we need to answer. For me, it is not that easy to identify or to discover who we are. It takes trial and error, it takes time. And over the years, I'm so confident that I've found out who I am as God intended it to be. And I think one of the, the clues for us to know who we are is it's not even what we wish or what we want to be in the future. You know, you are already who you are naturally. It's not because of your education. It's not because of your, um, you know, um, what you learn from other people or your experiences. No, I think that in this uh, trends of talks uh, uh, by uh, most of the psychologists, they talk about nature and nurture. Nature is what defines us. It doesn't matter where we were born from. Well, we don't neglect the power of nature or upbringing, you know, the influence from the environment, from the people you have met, from the events, things that happened in your life in the past, they have a big input in your life. But you will always be you. I will always be me. It doesn't matter where I live, it doesn't matter what happened to me, you know, and that is when, when you come to that level of identifying what makes you different from other people, you have discovered who you are. For me, when I say John Shalom, you see that Hebrew word Shalom, that is Salam in Arabic, uh, which means peace, um, with prosperity, is what defines me. Because it doesn't matter where I go, it doesn't matter what happens to me, I find myself seeking peace all the time. And that's my identity. I hope that gives you a clue to look into who you are so that you discover yourself before we talk about self-improvement. Thank you for watching and may God bless you. Shalom.